the only way is to become wise is by knowledge even jesus said that you will know something and you will know the truth not something the truth and it will set you free so knowledge is the key of wisdom and uh, plato uh, plato's work plato a, f a f great philosopher from the ancient time and he told something about his his master whose name was socrates and socrates knew something that made him very wise that he had the disciple like plato and there is entire tradition of of philosophy started with it and in modern science there is great impact of this philosophy present that is relevant in present time too so we find that socrates said that i know that i don't know <laughs> i know that i know nothing there was a person who wanted to meet the very wise person of, of the city and he was told that go and meet socrates he's he's the wisest person of the city and he went to meet socrates and when he met socrates socrates told him that all i know is that i know nothing then that person returned after meeting socrates and told that how can you tell me that socrates is the wisest person when i went to meet him he said that he all he know is that he he knows nothing so how can we say that he is the wisest person then people told him that you know we think that we know uh, there are many things that we know but he is, but <laughs> he is the person who knows that he doesn't know and that is what makes him special at least he knows that we he doesn't know but we live in this illusion that we know you know the life is very a uh, very uh, divine divine there new every day is new no two dna is same no two days is same yes it is similar it is cyclic uh, it is uh, in a form of a cycle a uh, summer winter s these seasons repeat itself but it is not same it is similar and uh, we get into illusion seeing something similar that it is the same and we think that we know we don't know anything uh, and from here starts the spirituality when we know that we don't know then we are ready for something new and when we are ready for something new then it opens the door of believing and when you believe then you attend the faith and when you attend the faith then you ask a mountain to move and it will move when you ask a tree to uproot and go to the sea it will go because you are communicating with the world as world really is new world all the knowledge is based on the experience experience is of past observation is of past even i am speaking to you it will reach to you when it becomes the past but what is new is you and uh, what is ahead is new and nobody knows exactly what is going to happen we just get illusion by the season we think that it should happen that way we anticipate we measure we calculate and then on this basis we f we place our prediction for the future most of the time it works but there is some time when it doesn't work that's why many people preach that don't uh, you ever quit because whatever you are saying whatever your reports are saying about you is not reality because it is all based on the past but the time is new your life is new our life is new everything is new so we all we know is that we don't know anything of this next moment even if everything happens as we have planned but still it is new this is the concept the newness of the time is what opens the door of believing in our soul when we then there is only one eye to see the future it is by believing and then we attend the faith that jesus was speaking of that one mustard seed there is one reference of wise people in bible too where it was said that there were three wise people who came to see jesus so this is the wisdom and and how was jesus that time he was just born a new <laughs> new concept so uh, wisdom is is acknowledgement of something new that is to happen is not based on the past or or 
what we already know used used thing it is new it is it is fresh and uh, so i it is oh, somewhat still a new year so i make video to say that i pray for you and uh, this is the secret of attaining wisdom at this moment that we realize that we don't know about what's uh, about to happen and we become ready for new opportunity new potential and attend the greatest success and jesus says that who humbles himself get exalted so the person who humbles himself with this uh, this realization that what is in front of me is entirely new even if it is in a form of season but next is spring that is about to come even if it will be like similar to the spring that we have lived but it is going to be new so <laughs> i wish you and i pray for you thank you may god bless you